The rest of the afternoon, action is slow, with just a few does and a young buck out in the field feeding. It's our last evening here in Kansas. Getting ready to go out here. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. We came out here this morning, saw an eight point in the stand that we previously had hunted in. This food plot, so it looks like they're really hitting it up. They haven't been able to feed, feed very well with all this snow on the ground. Just got up in the stand this last night. We're just gonna see anything comes out to this food plot tonight. I know all these deer are hungry because they haven't really fed much in the past two days because of the snow. So hopefully we'll get something. As the weather calms, the deer start making their way back into the food plot to feed. But food is hard to get to as it is buried under two foot of snow. Adam and the cameraman wait patiently, but no shooters show up in the field. What we've got here, yesterday after I uh, put the guys out hunting, I went and checked this location where I kept seeing these deer and these persimmon trees. Well, I seen this buck and I never could get a good look at him all oh, two or three times. Well. Yesterday he was bedded down with his, with his hot dough. He wouldn't leave her. He was bedded down for seven hours and I'll sit there and watch him from 100 yards away. So what we're gonna do this morning is try to ease back in here where I keep seeing these same group of deer and, uh, and ease up here and see if he's here. If he is, we're gonna get out, put a stalk on him, let Adam, Adam get a shot at him. Um, he's, a, he's a good solid eight point here. This, uh, with this snow like this, we'll be able to see real well. Even if he's moved a little bit, I think we'll still uh, still be able to see him. So we're gonna go give it a shot. We're gonna get big Adam and eight point here. Right. What do you think, Adam? Think we can get him? I hope so. All right, let's go do it. All right. As the guys head toward the area where Keith watched the buck the previous day, they find him still with the hot dough lying on the edge of the woods. They quickly get a plan together to slip within range. Adam gets ready to take his shot. Great shot, Adam. He's down the scene. Why can the plan come together? Man, we, we, had, we had that deer. I've seen that deer four times. Last night I put everybody out yesterday about one o'clock and I came back over to check him and he was bedded down right here. He bedded down for seven hours. So I told Adam today, I said, let's, let's get out. Let's try to put a stalk on him first light. Sure enough, he had moved about a hundred yards, but he was bedded down. We hit a hot doe and he would not leave her. And sure enough, I tell you what, that, that, those does get these big bucks in trouble every time. And we went over here and put a, Got out, we spotted him, put a stalk on him. We've got him right here. That's awesome, awesome job, Adam. Good job, man. Congratulations, sir. We're out here in Kansas. Last second of the last morning, I'll tell you what. Out here with uh, Little Walnut Outfitters, uh, Miles Wilhite, it's the outfitter. And I won this hunt through sportsmansna.com with Keith Powell. It's $4 a month. Anybody can afford that.